in the beginning. We really see this workshop as a beginning of a sort of formation of a community. And we would like to take a few more minutes of your time to uh, talk a little bit about the next steps we would like to take uh, with this working group and with this community. Um, so I think Hannah is going first. Um, so Hannah, please, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thanks, Anna. Um, so yeah, again, just thank you so much for the amazing talks and the discussions over the past three days. Um, in terms of next steps, um, one of, I think, the lowest hanging fruits is that um, we were, are planning to set up a listserv um, so that we can continue to share papers, workshops, conferences, job advertisements, and even best practices, pitfalls, methods, uh, advice. And so um, we'll go about that in sort of uh, the traditional way I'm sure you're all familiar with. So um, we'll set it up so that you can forward these announcements and then a moderator will pass it out to the community. So in a follow-up email to the workshop, um, we'll have a link to join that listserv um, in there. And we'll also have, if you go to the next slide, um, we received a lot of requests to uh, watch the presentations again and to have access to them. So where the speakers were able to release their talks publicly, um, we will be posting those talks um, to an AIMS YouTube channel and also um, archiving the PDFs on uh, AIMS website about this workshop. So um, again, you'll see a link to that in the future. And then finally, um, just to continue to identify the best paths forward for this community and for the working group, um, we'll be following up with a um, short uh, post-workshop survey. Um, and uh, I'll let the other co-chairs kind of um, identify what will be included in that survey. Um, thank you. Uh, right, so we're also planning to have some activities um, on specific topics. Uh, these that I'm going to mention now are just some examples that we thought up, but we're open to suggestions uh, from uh, from uh, of all sorts, and we're going to solicit ideas on those topics in a post workshop survey. Just get in contact with us if you have any ideas, and in particular, if there's something you'd like to lead. Uh, we thought that hackathons might be interested, so that might be applying. Um, new data assimilation techniques from one group uh, to models from another group, or perhaps model into comparisons with common uh, data assimilation frameworks. Um, several of the groups in this meeting are involved in some kind of data assimilation training activities, and it might be uh, possible that we could put on some bespoke training um, between us where we've been able to identify common skills gaps. Um, obvious examples of things we might do are focused discussion meetings, perhaps with um, just small numbers of presentations and uh, organizing conference sessions. So AGU is a good example, but it might be that a really interesting thing that's happened at this meeting is the mix of different disciplines that are together. So we could, for example, propose joint sessions between, say, ESA and uh, AMS, okay? Because there are people for, that really strongly face one or the other of those communities and bringing those things together could be really nice. Um, obviously, um, collaborations covers a very, very wide uh, uh, range of things, but we might also propose to do workshops uh, that face... Um, uh, people external to this community, uh, such as data providers. Okay, Tash, next slide, please. Um, yeah, so uh, I want to take my turn in thanking everyone very much for um, participating, all the speakers for your fantastic talks. Um, I think, I hope um, this has been a real chance for us to get to know each other. We, we have pockets within this community where we know each other well, but um, hopefully a much better chance to get to see what other people are working on and get to see some faces, even if it's only in a tiny square box. Um, I think we've shown that there's some really amazing work going on in this community, both from the speakers and um, also from all the discussions in the breakout group. So another thing that we'll be definitely doing is, is facilitating more and more communication and connection, plenty of opportunities to hopefully get to know each other more. Um, both in person, <laughs> assuming that that arrives at some point soon, but also through virtual events as well. Um, I think we've also seen in the pandemic that this kind of thing can be useful just for 
rapid fire getting to know what's going on. So look out for that, um, getting to know each other activities, social events at conferences. Again, if you've got any ideas for how to do that, please reach out. Uh, someone mentioned student exchanges. And just a final point here that if you'd like to be introduced to anyone within the community and you'd like us to facilitate that, um, please reach out to us as, as well. Um, so yeah, I'll move on to the next slide. All right, so one of the things that's also really close to our hearts here is that we really would like to engage our early career researchers more in, in the activities that are going on in the land data simulation community. And we really want to um, provide some sort of help in facilitating communications between you guys or between you guys and um, more senior researchers, but also to help you promote your work that you're doing because a lot of you are doing very, very excellent studies. And um, so, yeah, one of the things that you are going to see in the post workshop survey is a question to identify yourself as an early career scientist, if you are, um, and to indicate whether you're interested in um, in forming some sort of early career scientist network within the land data simulation community. And if there is a quorum and if there is enough interest, we will reach out to you and um, try to start the conversation about the best format to go about this and generally yeah, just help you facilitate sort of um, the communication in your group, but also to, to promote your work, as I said. Um, next slide, please. And then one thing we would also eventually get to is to have some sort of we call it here website but it can really take any any form so what we want is to have a forum um, that again allows you allows us to keep track of uh, sort of activities going on in the community of events of news so again this is a different for different forum for you to share uh, papers or research that you've been doing or if you have uh, positions we've seen a lot of um, positions announced over the course of this workshop um, so in addition to the list serve um, and also this is we plan for this to be going beyond what the listserv will provide in the sense that we imagine it as a sort of a notice board, but also a forum to have discussions. So just a way again to try to facilitate the, communi uh, the communication um, between people in the community. Um, we are we haven't settled on a final format for this. So if you have any experience or any ideas in terms of which format is good for this type of um, community, um, please do feel free to reach out to us or put it in the survey. Um, we're, we're happy to take into, into consideration feedback from the community here. All right, thank you. So I guess, you know, so, so, so I, I guess in the, uh, the the traditional old school way to, to try and build a community in, in academia is through uh, publications. So we've certainly been thinking about how we can go about that to promote the work we're doing and to highlight the challenges we're facing and, and advocate for the things we need to make progress as well as sort of uh, potentially outlining a vision for, for this community. Um, we have plans well underway for a meeting report in EOS, as is traditional for, for these sorts of gatherings. Uh, we are also uh, contemplating a, a commentary uh, in, in James. Uh, this is a sort of a slightly longer format uh, than, than what we could include in a meeting report and may point towards this sort of uh, the vision kind of thing. Uh, the step up from that is that we've been uh, asked to uh, potentially provide a review for meteorological applications, specifically about land DA. So again, that would be expanding the scope still further. And uh, if we think really big, uh, uh, MetApps are also interested in potentially hosting a special issue specifically on, on land DA. Now, I think um, certainly for, for steps two, three, and four, obviously we'll be very interested in reaching out and having input for, for, from others uh, contributing as, as authors to, to these efforts. Uh, but yeah, early early stages, but this is what we we're thinking about and sort of how potentially in, in the pipeline as far as publications are concerned. Um, and I think that's basically all I have before handing back to, to Tash for the last few words. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Um, just to say one more time, thank you so much for participating, uh, for all the speakers again, thank you so much. All the, the discussion leads and moderators, we really appreciate your leadership and your time in helping to make this workshop such a fantastic workshop. I hope, I hope you agree. Um, I also want to thank the organizing committee for all the work you've done. 
Um, it's been really great to work with you on this and I'm looking forward to further work. And a final enormous thanks to Hannah Liddy, who without her, this just wouldn't be happening at all. Like none of it, the workshop, the working group, but us trying to build a community, it just, it's, it's all, all because of Hannah really. So uh, enormous thanks from, from us on that. And please look out for this uh, post-workshop survey. It will be short and it'll just be uh, wanting your feedback on all the things we've just mentioned so that we can uh, build this community together. And with that, I'll close the meeting. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all again soon. As I said, hopefully both in person and virtually. And until that point, I, I really hope you stay safe and um, have a great summer. Thank you very much.